thank you for who you are. Thank you that you speak to us, God. Thank you for loving us, and thank you for showing us who and what our identity actually is founded in. We love you, and in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. So, recently, I've been experiencing a little rough patches in life, as I'm sure we all have before, um, but there was this one verse that stuck out out of all of them to me, and it's Ephesians 2.10. This verse says, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. I mean, the thing that stuck out to me the most about this is that we are God's masterpiece. So if you think about it, God created the things that we marvel at. The sunsets, the trees, the mountains, the oceans, everything that we see that we're amazed by and consumed with love for, he created. And yet he calls us our ma his masterpiece. We were the grand crescendo of his creation. We were the last things that he created, almost as if to show off. <laughs> we were the cream on top, the cherry on top, and we've heard this all the time, right? This is something that might go in one ear and out the other, that we're his masterpiece. So, Jesus, so Satan takes advantage of that, right? Satan comes in and he plants a seed. He plants discouragement, he plants a lie. And at, and at first we might, we might shrug it off and we, we might say that that's not true. <laughs> but then he, he keeps knocking, he keeps coming and then we start to, we start to plant it. And we start to let roots grow and leaves sprout. And then we start to believe Satan's lies more as truth than God's truth about us, about the creator of our soul. So why? Why does the enemy do this? You know, the very reason Satan fell out of heaven was he was, he was beautiful. He became prideful in that. And he fell. And he sees that there's beauty, that there's purpose in each and every one of us. And so now he's on this perpetual state of attacking our beauty, of attacking our purpose, the God-given purpose that we all have. So, so I was thinking about this, and I was like, oh, okay, so he's attacking these things in me, but I, but I feel like I'm actually not beautiful. So how can that really be happening? But the reality is a thief can't come in and take a TV or attempt to take a TV or a stereo system from a house if it doesn't, if it isn't in the house. That's right. And in the same way, Satan can't come into mm -hmm. your life, can't, can't invade your mind or your heart and try to steal the purpose and then the things the Lord has planted in us if it doesn't exist there. Good. If it's not actually given to us. So early in, the, in Ephesians, it says, that before, you used to live like the rest of the world. We, we used to live before we trusted in the Lord and before we found our, our salvation and, and our restoration in Jesus. We used to live by believing the next whim, the next, the next idea, whatever Satan had fed to us. But now, we don't do that any longer. We don't obey Satan. We obey the creator Amen. of the universe and our souls. Amen. So, I want to paint a picture in your mind real quick. Leonardo da Vinci, good artist, huh? Yeah. Heard of him? <laughs> yeah, so Mona Lisa is one of the most, is one of the most um, well-known paintings, correct? And I would say it's pretty well done, <laughs> right? There's, there's technique, there are things about that painting that is magnificent. It took, some people say it took him four days, some people say it took him, no, four years, oh sorry, four years. Some people say it took him 12 years. So imagine, Leonardo da Vinci standing by Mona Lisa like this, proud of it, right? He spent a lot of time. And then, and then uh, an amateur person that has never picked up a paintbrush, never done a, a bit of art in their life, walks around, huh, stares at the Mona Lisa and starts critiquing it. Uh, Ugh, the eyes, a little off. The strokes, ooh, could have done better. And Leonardo da Vinci is staying there and it's like, I, I, I painted this, I made this for a purpose. 
I, I, I do, I do know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm skillful in this. Is that, is, is that not what we do? When we look at ourselves, God's masterpiece, and we start critiquing, yes. and we start saying, oh, you didn't do this right. You could have done this better. God knows what he's doing. God knows what he did when he created you. And, 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 and I think the challenge for us is, is to start knowing our creator and knowing who he created you to be That's right. and do it on purpose to spite the devil. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Amen.